Hi and welcome to another fly tying tutorial. Um, I want to show you uh, how I tie this um, Amigo. It's a um, sand eel pattern and uh, it's it's quite easy to do and uh, and um, yeah, fast and easy. Um, for this fly, I'm using um, some seals fur dubbing. Um, you have, if you if you haven't read my uh, article, I have I've written an article on my website uh, how I uh, make this dubbing dubbing mix. Um, it's many different colors that I mix up, and, uh, and so I get some nice colors for the for for for, for this fly. Yeah, and uh, and or you can just use other stuff. But uh, for this fly, I recommend that you use fibers that um, are not so long because uh, if the fiber gets too long it's it's quite hard to to spin up the um, dubbing loop and make the tail so short fibers is uh, and, and a little bit stiff fibers so yeah so seals were, works great i haven't tried it with uh, other stuff but um, but um, I, I think with long fibers it will not work so good so um, yeah and uh, i'm using uh, some kevlar thread um, uh, it's important to have a thread that uh, it's tough, you know, and strong because uh, you're gonna you have to twist this up so hard. So it, 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 it's important to have a strong tying thread, and I'm using Kevlar. This is uh, you can't break this; it's very hard. And uh, I'm using a owner uh, mosquito hook in size four, uh, and I'm using um, a tungsten bead this is from Vendyard uh, 3.8 millimeter uh, I'll leave a, a material list under the um, <laughs> where you can put in comments you know uh, and I'm, I will type in what uh, what materials I use that's it I it's no uh, nothing more um, yeah shall we start okay so here you can see the fly it's a. Uh, I, I think this is a nice mix. This is a mix number one. Brown and purple. I will not sell this on my web shop. Okay, this is only, you know, for for those who like to experiment with, uh, with uh, mixing colors. So, yeah, this is the fly, and as you can see, this tail is nice and strong, and and uh, and uh, the materials are not falling out. Yeah. And it's a tungsten bead, and I'm using super glue, and I'm using these beads with the with this uh, slot in the, in the bottom, as you can see there. Okay, so I'll I will show you how I do this. Okay, let's start. Okay, I'm starting with the hook, and I'm gonna put on the bead. And I'm gonna put it in in this way, from the from the front, like that. And I'm gonna slide it around, make sure the slot is where the barb is, like that. And then I'm gonna just, like this, put it in my vise, like that. Whoop. Get some focus. I'm gonna take off my take off my watch, like that. Now we're ready to go. Okay. Yeah. Move my camera a little bit. So. Then let's start with the Kevlar thread, thread, okay? And what I'm doing, I'm, I'm, if you see this slot there, I want to fill up with thread inside the bead. So what I'm doing, I'm, I'm tying like this and I'm pulling the thread inside the bead like that, as you can see there. And I'm just putting in some wraps, holding it nice and tight all the way to the point where the, the bead won't slide around anymore. So let's see, it's it's getting harder and harder to turn. It looks like I'm... Um, yeah, there, there it stops. And you can also help it around a little bit if you want some more wraps, but this is enough, okay? And I'm gonna tie off this one to the... So the thread is aligned with the hook point. Snip it off. And then I'm gonna put in some super glue under here, okay? As you know, I'm not a huge fan of super glue, but I'm getting used to it. And, and I see when I use super glue, the, the fly will 
last a lot longer and I'm I'm all in for that so <laughs> I'll kind of get getting used to the super glue stuff so let's see if we can put get out a little pearl what you will say put in some super glue and make sure you get it in there of course you could use some some UV resin but I'm uh, I don't I, I think this super glue kind of sticks a little bit better to the to the metal the tungsten I don't think uh, UV uh, resin is so good for this so yeah you can you can use what you want but the lacquer is not is uh, or varnish is no it's no good you have to use some super glue or yeah make sure it's nice and uh, you know filled up like that okay and then we're gonna um, we're gonna I'm just gonna put on this <laughs> I don't want super glue all over my tying table there so like that okay now we're gonna make the dubbing loop and uh, I'm making uh, about let's say 10 12 centimeters okay like this I'm holding it back here you can see the tying yep and I'm gonna make a dubbing loop 12 centimeters like that and I'm locking it down with one wrap or two wraps and I'm pulling this up okay so it uh, and when I'm tying back the the loop will stay on the top and I'm tying all the way down to the barb line with the barb I think that's nice and I'm taking some wraps back again to the hook point and now I'm placing my trusted old <laughs> you know dubbing twister made from a uh, old Chevrolet yeah uh, and um, this is this works great because it's heavy yeah and I'm putting in my dubbing twister here and I'm gonna make the tail and uh, yeah I'll, I think this is enough the, the the trick here is is to use uh, not not so uh, yeah what um, please don't don't overdo it because if you have too much materials in this tail you won't be able to twist it hard enough and then it won't kind of spin up on itself I, I will show you so I'll think perhaps a little bit more this is for a six centimeter long tail six yeah or five shall I say five yeah how long is it I'm gonna measure it I think it's about that the whole fly is, is about yeah with the tail five yeah, five Okay, so this is enough. You have to experiment a little bit, tie it a couple of times. But the first time you tie this, it's much, much uh, better if you use less materials. And when you finish the fly, you say, "Oh, that's too little," and then add some because uh, normally um, people put on too much. I often say, "Take half of what you t took out of the bag and." You know yeah so this looks like enough for me I think so perhaps it's a little bit I, yeah I think I will have a little bit more like that and and what I'm doing I'm I'm doing uh, what I'm doing with the um, with the Klimpen you know and and when I want to uh, use max length of the fibers I am gonna do like this hold them with my fingers and pull them like that and putting this one underneath this one and making sure the fibers are aligned with each, with each other okay like this and I'm doing this a couple of times and when I'm finished I will do it one more time and I will just put this one up here and I'm gonna hold it with my fingers like that just like that okay like this and I'm gonna put this in the dubbing loop okay open up and put it in okay S hold it with your fingers like that so it won't the so the fibers won't fall out and now you have to use some time to kind of make sure this isn't bulky you know you have to be it have to be translucent and you need to you know move it around make sure it's nice and even and make sure you put some uh, seals fur all the way down to the hook okay make sure that so just pull some, pull this one up and pull those down 
And then this tail needs to be six centimeters, okay? Because when you spin it up, it will shrink a little bit. So I think this is six, it's a little bit short. I'm gonna move this one a little bit longer down. Ba -ba -da. Measure again, six. And now I'm holding up here and I'm twisting. And if you twist, how should I put it? If you twist this way to I will say to the left this time, okay? But you can see if I do hold it like that, I'm twisting to the right with my thumb here, to the right, okay? To the right, like that is to the right. That's that's very important to twist the right way, okay? You see, this way, this way, like that. Okay, let's spin it up and spin as much as you can. Okay, spin, 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 don't let go. Spin, spin, spin to the, you know, all the, so the thread will kind of be like that. You see? Okay, spin it up all the way so that this won't go anymore. Okay, and then let it go like that. And, and what I'm doing, I'm, 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 I'm taking my fingers and I'm sliding them all the way down here and I'm sliding them holding, holding the dubbing loop beneath my fingers and I'm doing like that making sure all the spin that I can take advantage of all the spin, okay? So move like that and hold it here. And, and then we'll take the, um, my brush and I will brush it. This part is very important. Brush, brush, brush. And you have to brush so you can see the tying thread. Okay, if you can see some parts where there, where, where it's bulky, you need to brush it. It's very important. Okay, so now you can see you can see the thread there all the way through. And then I'm gonna twist even more and see if you can if you can get some more turns. Yep, a couple of turns more. Move this the, the um, I will call it the twin or the, I don't know what you call it in English. Okay, but move take your fingers here all the way up here and move it slide it on the the loop so you can so you get as much twin as possible okay and then another time with this one this is very important this this step in the fly so now comes the fun part okay now we got a lot of spin on this and what i'm going to do i'm going to take my index finger and my thumb and i'm going to pull the fibers in the bottom of the loop like this. Do not take a hold of the thread, only the fibers. The few fibers in the in, in the top. And I'm pulling this back and I'm taking this thread, put my thumb on it, and this is one movement, you see? And the thumb is gonna pinch with my index finger here while I'm pulling this back. Like that. Do not hold on the tying thread in your left hand, okay? One more time. Pull the fibers in the back, like that. So just hold the fibers, a few fibers, don't take like that, like this, okay? Not so much, just a few fibers here. That's why it's, it's so important to, to, to twin a lot of, in, in, in the dubbing loop, okay? So pull, I'm holding here, and I'm holding here. Pull the few fibers back, fold it, put your thumb on the thread, Push your th thumb to the hook behind the bead. Lock it down with your finger. And then comes the fun part. Because now your left hand should turn this way. Thumb going up and over. Help it around and let it go. And look now. Vroom. This will actually mix in with it, each other. Okay, These two loops. Schmuck. As you can see, you get this nice tail. And I'm holding here, I'm not letting go, okay? So now I'm gonna move these two fingers after you spin it, up, lock down with this finger, take a couple of wraps with the, the loop. I think I managed to pull it. You have to be careful not to pull it like that, okay? So one more time, lock it down, move your fingers, lock it down, hold, you see I'm holding this one, take a couple of turns with the loop, um, take your bobbin 
and take a and lock this down okay with a couple of turns like that I'm just gonna place it here and I'm gonna cut off my dubbing loop like that my dubbing twister about there it's gonna let it go and I'm gonna land in the basket snip <laughs> and I'm gonna pull this one back and I'm gonna tie in the loop and I'm holding here I'm securing the tail okay I'm waiting to this is locked down. Ah, oh, locked down. I can let go. Oh, nice one. Oh, yeah. And I'm just going to tie down the rest of the loop. And I'm going to stop there and I'm going to brush a little bit. Because when you brush now, you will be able to move it a little bit more. Look at this and it's so strong and you're gonna have this fly a long time because of the top you know of the Kevlar thread and everything oh it's so mm. <laughs> I love it and now you should have a tail about five centimeters uh, the whole fly you see from there th this point it's it's five centimeters up, up. yeah so let's finish this fly and and I'm just gonna dub the rest okay just pull out some dubbing and I'm gonna put on and many of you are gonna if you're gonna use Kevlar thread for the first time this part is quite tr tricky to get the dubbing on the Kevlar thread but just practice and you know and I'm gonna pull this one a little bit up and I'm gonna tie in some and I'm some dubbing here and here it's important to when you dub don't uh, move fast forward you want to have nice and tight wraps because what's what will happen when you do that the thread will go in 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 the fibers and when you brush it up it will kind of it won't fall off okay so make sure when you when you're uh, putting on this seals fur uh, don't go uh, too fast forwards okay so you see I'm not moving so fast forward I'm tying nice and tight taking my time perhaps do I have some more oh it, uh, I don't have any more Yo, I can use some of this just to finish it off okay just a couple of wraps of this this is number three it's a little bit olive but I just want a little bit more because I'm gonna brush it and I'm gonna finish off the fly by just taking one two three four stop and then I'm gonna use my whip finish tool I'm just gonna take one two three four finish and I'm gonna pull this mm, nice and hard snip it off this Kevlar thread is so strong so I'm gonna brush now and if you have dubbed this correctly as you can see you get nice long fibers because you have tied the thread nice and tight you know make sure it's nice and tight and you get this nice fly amigo the three amigos and then you know I got this color in in this color uh, it's number one I've called it this number one amigo number one and I have this color this is the uh, amigo number two so I kind of make this color and this color and I got an only one that I don't have here but you can you can you can go in on, on my web shop and you can read all about it how how you can mix the colors and everything and yeah you know and uh, of course you can buy uh, the seals for on my web shop the only color I don't have at this moment is the purple but I'm getting there okay I have ordered in some color uh, from Vanyard and and it's getting it soon so and I want to finish off this fly with some more super glue because this fly, I want this fly to last long. And I can see I got a little bit much super glue on my dubbing needle. Oh, and I'm just going to put in some super glue here. And it's going to make the fly so strong. And when you're standing there and there are coming fish in, you want a fly that lasts. You know, you want to catch a fish after fish after fish. And then you want to make sure the fly it's nice and strong you made a nice strong fly look at that
that's the Amigo finished. So there's a couple of things that's important here, okay? Yeah. I'm going to put on this one. So there you go. There's the Amigo. And, uh, and a few things that's important is, as I told you, the amount of dubbing you put in the loop, not too much. Start with a little and, and add a little on the next fly, okay? Uh, and and it's, it's important to twist, you know, as hard as you can and use Kevlar thread or something else if you have something else. Uh, I Earlier, I have made some flies and I, I had I used some fire line, you know, thin, thin fire line. But, but uh, you can, um, Kevlar thread, I can, if you leave a message, I can tell you where you can get it if you don't know where you can buy Kevlar thread, okay? And so important to twist a lot, twist, 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 and brush, brush, uh, so you can see the tying thread, okay? And and uh, and and you know with the movement of the hands and everything and brush and yeah and so forth. Nice fly. That's the Amigo, okay? And you can buy this fly at my web shop. I can, if you don't tie flies, I can, I can tie some for you if you want. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. I hope. I hope uh, my camera is. It works okay, so I'm back again and I can start, uh, you know, making some step by steps for you guys. Okay, amigo. Talk to you later. Bye.